What up, everybody? We're here on USS Kid. I'm standing in the pilot house. This is Talking Ship. I'm Trevzor, and we're full steam ahead. back uh tim from what i understand the uh, mississippi river which we're standing on right now has high and low seasons we're obviously in the low one because we're in a riverbed and kid is out of water but she's not 40 feet tall and if this goes up 40 feet what happens does kid like go to the bottom what's going on no she she floats with the river uh it's a 40 foot difference between high and low water each season all the snow melt and rainfall from up in the northern part of the country comes down the Mississippi Basin and right here uh, the water will get as high as the third step from the top of the levee everything where we're at is flooded and uh, kids hull is intact no leaks and she just floats right up off of that concrete cradle and and rides the waves Wow so um, it seems like the floating is really the easy part right so like going up is no problem when you get back to low water like where we're at right now how are you sure that you're going to get back into that concrete cradle well, back in the early 80s, the first time that they did it, they weren't 100% sure. They'd done all the math, uh, but, you know, it's, it's the, the it's proof math. is in the pudding. You we know? hope, right? And uh, as long as she stays perfectly ballasted, she sits right down in that cradle. There are four collars on her port side tied to uh, a mooring dolphin system, and she just slides straight up and straight down. So we just have to watch and make sure that, that the tanks are ballasted properly. Fantastic. So you don't have to do anything. There's like, you don't have to flip a switch. There's no motor, motors, nothing. This is all just by by the act of buoyancy. She lifts and then she she's goes back down. Pure science. Wow. That is that is very impressive. And uh, you were telling me not too long ago that if we were if we were here three weeks earlier, we could have been under the ship doing this shot right now, right? Like that's oh, yeah. how low this water will go? The water will go away from the kid uh, about 30 or 40 feet wow. uh, outboard of her and you can stand underneath her and uh, it's actually a great shot a lot of people like to do it in the in the uh, dry season they'll come up and they'll just put their hands on the on the on the hull of the ship and look like they're bench pressing the ship wow so uh, if if you had to choose uh, wet season all the water or dry season standing underneath the ship which one would you do uh, that's that's a hard that's a hard answer because there's uh, we have the art exhibit in the museum and one of the most beautiful shots that I see in there is one looking at her dead on with grass growing where we're at right here and it looks like she's sailing through a prairie but nothing beats walking down the street and seeing kid floating almost above the levee and just see her riding the waves. Wow. That's pretty pretty impressive. Well, thank you so much for this information. Thank you. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, good luck, fair seas. We'll see you out there. Bye.